Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, beautiful people. Greetings. This is Danny Blue Moon here with the message of the week. So, y'all, I'm going to switch my channel up a little bit. I'm just going to be doing um, messages of the week. My subscriptions, my ladies that are subscribed to me are growing at this moment in time. And so I'm having to need to pay more attention to them because that's the whole point of subscribing. And so that you can get one-on-one -on -one time with um, your intuitive healing. <clears throat> and so that's what I'm going to have to do, y'all. I apologize. So I'm not going to be doing the um, Zodiac videos anymore, but I will do messages of the week, messages of the day, whatever comes through. Um, you can always get personal readings from me and things of that nature. But I got to take care of my subscribers, y'all. I have to. And at the same time, I got to take care of myself. So, spreading myself too thin, that is a lesson that I have learned. That is a lesson that I have learned. Messages of the day. We will start with Moonology. Then we'll take Tarot Insight. And I'm hearing to play with these for a little bit too as well. So let us start. How are y'all doing? I feel like I have not done a message of the week or a message of the day in a while. Um let me tell you what I've been going on. I have been living and thriving, honey. I am growing and going through my shifts that are necessary for me to go to my next level. And so that is what I'm doing. Preparing myself, readying myself, equipping myself with the necessary tools to... Because I ask for a doorway to be open. I ask for blessings to be you know, given to me to be rained upon me. And in order for me to receive those blessings that I ask for, I have to continue prepping myself for this new journey that I'm walking out for this new doorway, this new path that I'm about to walk through. Can't slack off after you ask, after you ask for good graces to come into your reality, after you ask for things to be, to, to be blessed upon you, do realize that you got to watch, you know, be careful what you ask for, because at that moment in time, that is when the shift ripples for you. That is when it changes for you. And that is when you go through um, the different chaotic shifts of what's going on within and what's going on outside of you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Messages of the day. Messages of uh, messages of the week. I'm sorry. I apologize. Messages of the week. Got a mother deck. Prosperity lies ahead. This is the month of September, y'all. We are under new moon energy. We are under new moon energy. I do have some new moon releases that I have on my um on my website blog that you guys can uh, take a look at at bloomonmagic.com description will be in the box below but i do have some um why would i do that prosperity layers ahead uh but to get to that prosperity is what i'm hearing is that you're having to balance who you are and who you have been you're having to balance your spirituality with your practicality you're having to balance out the energies that are possibly causing chaotic shifts and rips in your reality Messages of the week, you guys. The answers that you need are coming. New moon and uh, full moon in Gemini. The answers that you need are coming. This right now is a time for healing. Right now is a time for healing. Um, step out of your comfort zone. Be who you are. Make sure that you are vibing on the um, on the vibrational frequency of that which it is that you want to attract. You, you have to. If you're not in alignment with but that which you want to attract, you ain't attracting that which you want. Period. 
Be bold and make the first move. When be bold and make the first move, it is literally um saying it is literally getting up off your ass. I literally see somebody standing. You know how like um Sherman Clump got up and he was like, "Yes, I can." You know, it's it's about you this is about you making the first move towards you you making the first move towards um getting yourself out of that stagnated energy out of that i want to say depression for some of you uh because that was the first word that came out i changed it to stagnation i really gotta stop doing that but um the those of you that have anxiety depression um or whatever depression that you that you tend to put yourself through or that you end up going through i'm not it's not Let's not do, you know, because me personally, being in the medical field, I have reservations and being under, you know, learning meta metaphysicality, learning uh, psychology, um, and then learning spiritual or, you know, relearning my spirituality, relearning myself. I'm learning that there are certain choices that we make when it comes to our emotions and the things that we go through, Right. So prosperity definitely does lie ahead here. It didn't go too far from the bottom of the deck. I definitely heard to take that out. Two more cards for you, please. Communication is key. Communication, you clearly communicating, you putting out that broadcast, that, that spell, you spell casting, which is basically communicating. You communicating what it is that you want specifically will come to you. You're just needing to um step outside of your comfort zone and make the first move towards the actions that you want to happen in your reality meditate and contemplate grow yourself grow your within okay show the world the real you boom basically what i said it's about you this is about you taking time out to prove to you you're needing to prove to you okay the energies around you is definitely gaining momentum so you are definitely speeding up or definitely going you're, you're, you're going to go through that door okay and whether you get to that door and you walk through it in your readiness it's up to you or versus you getting to that door and not being able to turn the knob because you're not equipped to handle what that which is on the other side of that door all right so be mindful okay meditate and contemplate Communication is definitely a uh, key here. We definitely have um, Gemini energy here, Pisces energy here, Taurus energy here. Um, the twins, for the most part, too, keep coming out, Pisces and Gemini. You know, those ones with the split personalities and the um, uh, split personalities. And um, the multiple people in their head and things like that. A new start is coming. A new start is definitely coming. Prosperity definitely lies ahead. That was the first card to come out. Or no, that was the bottom of the deck. And then it reshuffled and came out again. I'm also looking at the message that you are the best thing to ever happen to you. Y'all, I shuffled the, that deck of cards. I shuffled the ribs. I shuffled the ribs like a week ago i have not played with the ribs in a minute and i was wondering i was like i took that message for me of course you are the best thing that ever happened to you but then i wondered i was like who is that for i see now who's it for you and your loved ones are safe okay it is for you you're protected divinely protected divinely guided you have nothing to worry about if you unless you so choose to do so you don't really have anything to worry about unless you so choose to do so For some of you, you're not wanting to work together in a certain situation anymore. Something that is not sticking, clicking, or making you feel right. You're not wanting to deal with it any longer. Uh, whatever that may be. Um, whatever that may be. You're not wanting to deal with that any longer. Some of you are needing to give yourself a break. Some of you are needing to... Take time out to give yourself a break this week and not um, be so practical, like not be so rigid and structured and, and, you know, you're needing to relax. And that is, I believe that is why the balance your spirituality card came out. 
some of you might be taking a trip as well vacation to relax and to get things you know taken care of for you let's go ahead and get some tarot down let's go ahead and get some tarot on the table messages for the week for the people that watch me this is for everybody um, if I call out the signs, I try my best to. They are for sun rising, moon, Venus, and your nodes. Any placement, any chart placement, honestly, actually. Messages of the day, Spirit, thank you. Secrets being revealed. Truths are very much being highlighted. I wouldn't be surprised if the sun came out. Truths uh, being revealed is causing conflict. Internal conflict for those I was gonna say for you that I definitely felt like this was yourself, not anyone else. Um, competition with yourself, quarrels with yourself, with your foundation, and then boom, here's the sun. Like I said, that's crazy. Uh, but there are definitely let me stick to what I'm saying. There are definitely some um, hidden motives, emotions, signs, information. That is needing to that oh sorry that is definitely will that will be revealed that will definitely be revealed. Um, you will definitely get um, message of the week. Clarity is definitely coming through to you. Some of you guys are warring with your spirituality. You're not listening to the intuitive messages and downloads that are coming about when it comes to you. When it comes to your, look, Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. That is literally you. That is your household, your happiness, your foundation, your independence, your money, your, your stability, your security is being affected by you not facing the truth or the hidden challenges that you're not pre equipping yourself not equipping yourself to deal with the hidden challenges that are coming up and i don't even for some of you um this week the hidden the challenges aren't hidden you are avoiding them five of wands you are avoiding the conflict you are avoiding fixing the situation within yourself or outside of yourself um for whatever reason exactly um for some of you it is a dead situation for some of you it is causing bad health for you for some of you this situation is not um fulfilling you at this moment in time it is literally causing quarrels one second and when it comes to your maya when it comes to the hermit when it comes to um When it comes to that that wise energy there, you're needing to pay attention. You're being spirit is you're not necessarily spirit is judging you, but spirit is taking a, into account what it is that you are doing and what you're not doing. Which means in hindsight, your subconscious mind is taking into account what it is that you're doing and what you're not doing to prepare yourself for this new chapter that you asked for. So this week you're needing to you're needing to take time out to give back to yourself so that you can continue preparing yourself for the blessings that you ask for or for the step up that you ask for, for this new happiness, joy, and peace that you ask for. I really don't see any bad cards in this situation, but you're going to need to boss up and step up into your power when it comes to who you are and what it is that you are looking and wanting and waiting for. Aren't you tired of waiting? Aren't you tired of going through... First of all, that situation there, yeah, for some of you, um, why is it just men coming out? I'm not sure if men watch my channel. Not sure at all. Oh, here's the lady. I was like, actually, it's not. She's a card of occupation. And then toil and labor at the bottom of the deck. So, for some of you, work is, is a problem. Um, that's a small amount of you um 
where work is, is an issue in your life or schoolwork is an issue in your life. Um, yeah, there's definitely hidden secrets about an occupational hazard or an occupational change that is um, happening. Um, what is the result of it, though? Let's get the result of the situation. Ooh, that turned upside down, um, which is cool. Great. Five of Pentacles, the world at the bottom of the deck. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Again, Taurus energy like we talked about. Um, I have Leo energy here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your nodes. I also have Cancer energy here. Pisces energy here again. Um, and Virgo energy as well. Libra energy here. With the world, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. With the world card here. What I will say... Um, was that the world or the Wheel of Fortune? Either way, go. Five of Pentacles in reverse is letting go of the um, emotional turmoil that it, that is surrounded by your stability security work career and family foundation five of pentacles reverse we move on to the six of pentacles which is fairness reciprocity give and take charitable um charitable acts and things of that nature charitable donations and stuff um where in the past some of you were not some of you don't know what it feels like to receive the most to receive back what you give Boom, i'm gonna say it like that in the past some of you have dealt with situations where you did not receive what you gave back um moving forward i do not feel like that will be the issue for you lovers the um, wise woman um which is the higher font so your higher self you're into it you're all knowing your intuit intuition is here um some of you may be dealing with a mentor um, or someone that is older than you that is in your life that is helping you work out your situations um bring it as you know small tokens of help olive branches type of situations and things of like that um uh, so the outcome here we have with manipulation in the reverse you coming out of that energy of feeling abandoned feeling stuck and stagnated um, once you face the challenges of, of um, actually saying no, some of you are needing to say no. A lot of your challenges is actually saying no. You give too much of yourself versus um, not giving too much of yourself. Exactly. You're getting over that that in that period of feeling stuck, stagnated and trapped. Uh, that was not. And then toil and labor is still at the bottom of the day. So 11 here, the number 11 here, the number of... Um, actually walking through that door 10 is completion and when we get to 11 which is two um that is your next step to planning and equipping yourself preparing yourself for you taking this trip that you need to take boom all right and not necessarily a trip it's literally you walking to the next level of what it is that you ask for you're just needing to remove and i was gonna say this you're needing to remove um, people that are around you, that are lying to you, that are gaslighting you, that are not there for you, that actually do not want you to be happy. You know who these people are intuitively, but you're not facing the challenge of removing these people from your energy this week. And you're need, you're being challenged to remove or face the challenge. Your challenge this week is to face the challenges there that are there that are hindering you from walking through that door that, that you asked for. Nobody can take this blessing away from you. You can only unalign yourself to it. You can sever that cord if you like to. You don't have to, but that's exactly what you're going to do. If you choose not to face your challenges, y'all, I'm so sorry. I don't eat rice cakes. I haven't had a rice cake in forever. But um, with this cream cheese on it, banging. I didn't want to buy a bagel, y'all, so I bought rice cakes. But, um, yeah, you needed to remove your per this person from you. They have been around you for a while, for a very long time. You have tried to make amends with this person over and over and over again. And literally, 
you um at this point in time you're looking at things from a different perspective you're looking at the bigger picture you've taken yourself outside of the box you're just like maybe it's not me because it's not you it's them and it's only you because you keep allowing this person to come to stay in your space it's only you because you have a big heart like that possibly are cancer possibly but this person cannot first of all this person is watching you so do be mindful that somebody is watching you for some of you stop texting stop talking stop stalking stop checking on that person just stop spend your time on someone worth it don't waste it on ridiculousness so you're needing to spend more time with yourself is what i'm hearing literally nine of cups here joy peace happiness fulfillment independence emotionally we saw the nine of pentacles also as well so that's security and independence financially being secure in your situation wherever you are on your journey in your life and we have the high priestess you already know you already know what's going on and then we have the judgment here with temperance major arcana is like really coming through major arcanas are coming out this deck um again balancing your spirituality with your practicality again allowing spirit to come in and divinely work on your behalf because you have done the because you're doing what you're supposed to do you're needing to let go not to not be so judgmental don't be so hard on yourself judication judgment um imprisonment hermit card here don't allow yourself to be so structured and rigid spirituality is not practical it whatever happens happens it just flows it just flows the world at the bottom of the deck is open to you these doors are open to you there's no one that can take away what it is that's coming to you nobody can do that at this point in time that is all you love that is all you message of the week it is all on you to make happen what it is that you want to happen message of the week it is all on you to be able to receive to align yourself with receiving what it is that you want to receive that is all on you no one else can do that for you no one else can do that for you patience is important knowing how knowing when to move how to move knowing when not to move and how to be quiet and be still is important temperance here it's important facing your challenges is important some of you do have vindictive people around you that you are removing yourself from and getting away from but those things are important three of cups let's talk about it three third party situations um love situations family situations let's talk about it messages of the week messages of the week oh i said you didn't shuffle like i said let's talk about it three of cups three of cups is the energy of happiness celebrations gratitude being thankful for what you have where you're at and what's coming to you it is the present energy of enjoying yourself in just being that's three of cups new love is coming to you a person has stirred your romantic feelings we did see that a brand new start was coming so for this week some of you are dealing with new love some of you are having a brand new it doesn't necessarily be um love situationships it could definitely be friendships it could be new partnerships you could have you can be um coming in tune or coming in alignment with a new financial uh business partner uh someone that if you don't know how to work the computer somebody else knows how to do the laptops and and and, and the background work with the website go ahead and let them come in you know can't do everything by yourself For some of you, you're having to deal with um, heart to heart situations when it comes to your person um, or your family. Again, facing the challenges and allowing the truth to set you free. This week, facing the challenges and allowing the truth to set you free, it is up to you to receive what it is that you need to receive. Face the challenges. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Be vulnerable. Be honest. Was 
with in it. One more for heart to heart conversations, please. Okay, that's it. Oh. So, bottom of the deck, this could be the one. Got wedding here. Financial issues are a factor in your life. So maybe having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations about finances, about where you guys are at, um, about what it is that you're needing and what you're wanting is important at this time right now so that you can continue walking in alignment together with each other. Um, calling on your soulmate. You are aligning yourself with the energy of receiving that which you deserve, that which you put out. Who you are is who you will attract. If you are a very loving and compassionate, loyal person, you will attract a very loving, compassionate, loyal person. All right? The situation with this person, it could they could definitely be the one that you have been manifesting and creating. Definitely could be. I would not take that out. Um, past life relationship. So this new person that is coming in, um, okay, hold on. Past life relation, first of all. My bad, y'all. They started, I guess, blowing the, the the grass out there, mowing the grass, and this just got too loud. All right, um, past life relationship. You guys have known each other before. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and getting to know each other. So with this new love. You're needing to let go of what, like I said, you got some of you have or deal, was dealing with um, people, places, things, situation that um, was stagnating you and holding your back and you're needing to release it. I'm not just going to leave it there at the X because it for us, for a group of you, it's not just about an X. You have let your X go, so you, but you're still dealing with lingering, staggering energy. Or the person that you're dealing with, the person that this new love is, they're not done with their ex and they're needing to let them go so that you two can get to know each other. Okay? And just because you have past life relationships does not mean they are for you. Past life relationships can be karmic. Period. And you do have the message to stop checking, stalking, and worrying about this person. You're calling in your soulmate. Some of you are confusing the energy when it comes to love this week. And you're needing to just be simple. Allow yourself to just be. Allow the situation to unfold naturally for you. So that you are not the one making the mistake. We're tired of making mistakes. Right? We're tired of moving too fast before we're supposed to. We're tired of making the unwise choice. We're tired of um, being around people who lack integrity. Who do not, who are not there for us. We're tired of being around people who just want to take. Who just want to steal. Who just want to manipulate. That was at the top of the deck. With the ego card. With the devil card. Literally just took these off the top of the deck here. Sorry. But that's what I'm talking about. Here. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I saw. Something told me to pick it up. They were like, oh, well you saw that. Well, let's go ahead and put it on the table. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to let that situation go before you can attach yourself to this new love and move over in here, in this situation. We have a wedding here. Not necessarily just wedding, but we have commitments being um, brought to life. Commitments um, happening here. What was it this? What's this deck? Wedding. Give me four cards for the situation over here. Weddings, mm -hmm. completion, building, congratulatory, uh, three of wands to the four of wands. You're building, you're growing in faith, blindly in faith at that, blindly in faith, nine of pentacles here. I'm sorry, the queen of pentacles here. It, it's, it, it gets better. It def I was going to lie and say it can't get any better. It definitely can get better. It can always get better. Finances and career, let's talk about it. You are removing yourself of waste of someone that was taking from you. 
you're removing yourself from somewhere you're being quiet about how you move about how you make your money um for some of you um you're needing to get more information or you are done getting all the uh, gathering all the information you need for your finances to come to fruition the way that you want them to uh, but financial issues are affecting your love life right now not anymore you are removing the stagnated energy you are removing the pessimistic uh po potty mouths pessimistic potty mouths the people that will literally spill so much shit over onto your blessings pessimistic potty mouths Ooh, I like that. Um, soulmate, let's talk about it. Reveal. Oh. Oh. Y'all, that was the chariot with the Ten of Cups. I'm not even mad. I'm not mad at all. Ten of Cups is emotional. Uh, um, happiness, fulfillment. You get into things that you want. Um, heart to heart conversation. So literally clearly with the Queen of wand i mean the queen of swords coming out is perfect i'm here in bottom of the deck let's flip over um with the king of wands that's crazy <sighs> okay some of you are an air sign gemini libra aquarius dealing with a fire sign leo sagittarius aries again these can be moon, sun, rising, Venus. The placements can be anywhere. But with the energy of the Queen of Swords, you are clearly Gemini energy, communication, right? Uh, Mercury rules Gemini. Queen of Swords enters Gemini. Um, communicating clearly what it is that you want and precisely around is keeping the energy around what it is that you are talking about and discussing and not allowing somebody to come and change uh, switch the words around okay you're gonna have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone uh, the moon was here so I emotions are definitely going to come out about a situation do not allow someone to make you feel like you aren't um do not allow someone to make you feel like girl y'all magician that's crazy that's what i'm saying like don't allow somebody to make you feel like um what you're saying is invalidated don't allow someone to make you feel like you know to turn the tables on you with the with her here um with the magician here somebody wants to try to change the table on you when you have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation whether it's with an ex or whoever somebody is gone or whoever i don't know somebody is going to literally try because they feel like this connection is real excuse me oh that's true this part that who oh, y'all excuse me so much i have no idea where that bird came from but this person feels like um that how can i say this that your connection is real and that they do not want to let it go you know see they they feel like you're their you're their person and they don't want to let the situation go. But when you decide that you're have you've had enough and enough is enough and you're done with it, you're over with it. Um, that may be where the stagnated energy is coming from. That may be where the blocks are coming from. Again, you have the chariot with the Ten of Cups. You have the chariot with the Ten of Cups. So you definitely have forward movement coming to you into your happiness into your completion into your fulfillment that you want okay so messages of the week we had um i forgot the first message of the week because i'm channeling so much um i forgot the first message or the energy around the first message it literally was you doing what it is that you need to do to prepare yourself for this conversation that you're having be it making up with people or breaking up with people and now i'm not just talking about you know relationships i'm talking about family friends co-workers and things of that nature you can make up and break up with people that you're not you know laying down with basically um divine messages for the week please divine messages for the week what is the collective needing to know messages of the week divine messages from the week thank you retreat it's time to disconnect from the world divine messages divine messages for the week divine messages for the week it's time to disconnect from that which no longer serves you it's time to hermit yourself 
Um, it's time to, once you get that truth, once you get that, that revelation, that revealing, it's time for you to go ahead and walk away from that. Let your friends help you. You do have help. You do have support. Um, accept the support from others when they try to bring it to you. Don't try to think you can do everything by yourself. You cannot do everything by yourself. You're going to make it harder for you, right? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Enjoy the bliss. Enjoy happiness around you. Be more present in the moment. Be more present in the moment. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Period. You, period, are ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, when it comes to your relationship, as these are my um, past life relationship cards, um, past love or whatnot, or present love, for some of you, you are definitely needing to let go of your ex. Look, soulmate at the bottom of the deck. You're definitely needing to let go of your ex. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. The situation you're, is calling for you to have faith. Um, and then at the top. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Like I said. Like I said. Um, for those of you that are coming into. This is not a karmic for you. This is literally your divine masculine. Your divine feminine coming together. To be together. To move forward in the direction that they want to go. You're just needing to let go of the past person. Because they're not yours anymore. They were never yours. They were never for you. You knew that though. You are the best thing to ever happen to you. I said that once and I'll say it again. So go easy on yourself. I said that once and I'll say it again. You are the best thing to happen to you. Divine messages come through for this week. If you got a feeling that you just can't shake that little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. That is your intuition speaking to you. You are not crazy. You know exactly what's going on. So do not allow somebody to manipulate or change the narrative that you bring them. I said that. Do not allow somebody to change the narrative for you. Do not allow somebody to get you out of your character. If you started off being... <sighs> if you started off being amicably in tune with trying to sever the cords or sever the connections, or if you have tried to be nice about a situation and people are not, you know, taking, or people are taking your weakness for kind of, your, 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 not your weakness for kind of, people are taking your kind heartedness for weakness. People are taking you for weak and they're fucking up doing that. That's not on you. That's on them. Um, listen to yourself. Don't allow nobody to change, uh, gaslight you, uh, manipulate you, control you, desert you, abandon you. If you feel abandoned, it's because you abandon yourself. So don't, you, could you, you put so much into something or someone else that you didn't give to yourself. So if the build, the feeling of abandonment comes from you abandoning yourself in the first place and giving somebody else more power over you to make you feel abandoned, because if you loved you more than you loved them or you loved you more than that situation then you would there you wouldn't give two fucks about them abandoning you you wouldn't feel that they would leave because they are the ones that feel abandoned because they have abandoned themselves so don't make yourself the victim in a situation right always be cool calm collect always be in control of who you are who you are becoming and who you want to be always be in control of you Again, stop texting. Stop checking for this person. They're not checking for you, so stop checking for this person. Stop checking for this person. Um, if they are checking for you, stop checking for this person because they are coming in to distract you from what it is that you are moving forward and, and going through and going towards. Okay, that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get on that shit. Let go of the past. More divine messages for this week for the viewers. More divine messages. Money is coming to you. Abundance is coming to you. So get the fuck out of your head when it comes to your situation. Be more in your heart chakra. Be more um, in tune with loving yourself. Being there for yourself. Forgiveness. Okay? Get some sleep. You may be a little bit irritated. And fuck fear. Okay? Do not allow yourself to be stopped. For, you know, do not, do not allow challenges to stop you from moving forward, basically, is what I wanted to say. Do not allow challenges to stop you from moving forward. All right. Last final messages for you guys this week. Messages of the week. Divine, come through and speak. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trust. Everything happens the way that it's supposed to happen for you 
to be better. God does not want you to fail. God does not want you to lose, you know, quote unquote lose. You're needing to just trust that everything that happens is happening for your betterment. Because why would it happen? If it's not for you to learn a lesson, if it's not for you to grow, what the freak is it there for? All right? Something is happening in the near future. You're needing to listen to your intuition. Meditation brings answers. If there is something that, um, there's a huge no here. I'm not sure what this no is. All right. There we go. Um, when it comes to this, no, let go of, remember those men that we talked about that came out, you're needing to let go 111 here, 111, affirmation, uh, angel affirmation number 111, um, A message of concern so there's a message of concern when it comes to two people all these ones they may have a life path number of one they may be a loner whoever it is you may be a loner what is this no I think some of you asked the question, yes or no question. Some of you asked, will you lose your blessing? Some of you asked, like, if you go back and deal with this person, will you lose your blessing? Or should you go back and deal with this person? And you got to know um, because this is what's coming to you. Bottom of the night, message of concern. The message of concern that if you decide to go backwards, that um, you won't get the fruition that you are creating, that you want. Meditate on it. That's the second time that we've got meditation. Or a couple times, actually. Different cards say that. But you're needing to meditate on that situation there. To see um, how it is going to play out for you. Abundance is here. Peace is here. Joy is here. Helpful people, again. You have people around you that will support you. That will be there for you. Do not stop. Continue moving forward. That was the no we got. Okay, thank you. And then you're needing to get more information about a situation before you act, okay? We did see the... um um the page of swords in reverse saying that you don't have enough information or that you're needing to get more information about something and that's why you guys are needing to communicate vulnerably that is why you guys are needing to have to have heart to heart conversation so that the information is there so that you because there's something better coming okay and you need to know what it is so that you are prepared for it basically So be honest. Now, whether this person is being honest with you doesn't matter. You still need to be honest, period, with yourself or with and with them. So that what you want, you speak that which you want and that you have, you attract the intentional energies around you that you want. Okay. Because faking the funk with somebody um, is not going to bless you. It's not going to bless your game. And don't forget to take a break from the outside influences of the world and be more into yourself. All right. Be more into yourself. All right, y'all, that has been your read for the this week. I'm going to keep it around this time, about 40 so minutes or so. I was trying to make it a little shorter. If you are needing anything, any spellings and things of that nature, please reach out to me. I'm always here for you, okay? This has been your weekly message. Again, the work through your fears. The work through your fears. What else? 
If you do not work through your fears, nothing will come out of that situation. A new start is coming to you. You do know that, okay? You feel that. You've created that. Walk through that. Align yourself to that, all right? I do love you guys. You have a beautiful week. And this is Danny B Blue Moon. Always be you to full. Fill your cup up so much that you have no choice but to overflow into others, all right? Thank you so kindly. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you later.